speaking, it's kind of scary that coronavirus is now in Colorado. It's a little bit scary, but I feel like it's blown out of proportion. It's honestly kind of pretty preventable if you do wash your hands and if you do take care of yourself. Not even that scary because the survival rate, I was like researching and the survival rate's like 90 something percent, so. My fellow Americans, tonight I want to speak with you about our nation's unprecedented response to the coronavirus outbreak that started in China and is now spreading throughout the world. Today, the World Health Organization officially announced that this is a global pandemic. We are seeing COVID-19 cases rise in 23 states across the country, including some of our neighbors. Universities and colleges in Colorado are moving to online classes. COVID-19 has played a huge role throughout this year. It has affected everybody's lives in different ways and continues to challenge us. At a congressional hearing, I made the statement, things are going to get much worse before they get better. And that was at a congressional hearing uh, a year ago today. It was March 11th. It's 2020. I said that. But I did not in my mind think that much worse was going to be 525,000 deaths. Even though it's been hard, we have fought through and made improvements. With certain guidelines and precautions, we can move forward and start the process of having a normal life again. So the future, uh, we talk about transitioning back to normal, but I guess, I guess the question then is normal going to equal the same? It, it seems like that's going to be different. Do you remember like March 12th and March 13th? Like that. Thursday oh, I remember and March 13th. Um, I went out with some friends of mine, and it was good, and then we went home, and then I don't know, I felt like it was like, something's wrong. I was at school, and my last day, I went home early, and I just remember everybody like, freaking out, and um, they were like, oh, it's this COVID thing, and they didn't, everybody was like trying to find hand sanitizer and toilet paper, and it was just like, all wild. During spring break, I think it was like a Wednesday, and I got tests from my friend, and there's like a screenshot of like a message from the school saying that we were going to online school. I found out about a week before spring break, and because it was all over the news. And um, what happened that week was it was just everyone getting ready to go for online. Like the teachers were telling you, yeah, we're gonna be going online. Like an entire week in advance. I was working at a school at my for my school psychology practicum, and so I had to tell all the kids that we weren't coming back. I remember that was kind of a hard moment. We weren't sure how long we were going to be out for. It felt like a big deal actually before, because um, like before like most people like early fe uh, late February, um, just because like my parents were really concerned about it and they were like talking about it a lot. So I was thinking about it a lot. <laughs> when school shut down. Yeah, when the extended spring break turned into us not going back until now. <laughs> when my dance school, they initially shut down because they couldn't have any people in it. I think it initially hit me when, well, when it shut down and then school started going online and that was way different than what we'd already learned. Uh, I. I kind of thought it was a big deal when like stuff was closing down, like restaurants already. I was like, oh, that's big bad. It was a nightmare. 